Sup, y'all? Bring guys another video. So as you guys can tell by the title, Gary Russell Jr. versus Ray Vargas. The WBC, the World Boxing Council, has ordered this fight. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So anyway, as the title states, the WBC, the World Boxing Council, has ordered this fight. They have ordered their champion, Gary Russell Jr., to fight the number one contender, Ray Vargas. Ray Vargas is moving up in weight from 122 pounds to 126 pounds. He is the former champion at 122, and him moving up elevated him to become the mandatory ch uh, challenger for the 126-pound uh, title. Um, Marusio Suleiman of the WBC, the president of the WBC, recently stated in an interview with um, Behind the Gloves, uh, go subscribe to Behind the Gloves if you haven't yet. Uh, in the interview, he talked about he mentioned that this fight between Gary Russell and Ray Vargas has been ordered. Uh, Boxing scene and a bunch of other articles wrote about it. Uh, wrote about it as well. Um, Gary Russell Jr. is a champion, so if he wants to keep his title, he has to fight Ray Vargas. And then both fighters are signed with PBC, Premier Boxing Champions. So uh, knowing that, it should be a fight that they can easily make. And hopefully it happens soon. Hopefully. That's the hope. Um, like I said, Ray Vargas used to be the champion at 122. And now I guess it's Luis Neri. I guess he was the champion in recess, Ray Vargas. Man, I don't understand the WBC, man. It can be ridiculous sometimes. Well, all of this is sanctioning bodies actually can be ridiculous. But anyway, Vargas is now competing at 126. Gary also holds the title. Right now, Gary Russell, he's, he, these days, he's been calling out Tank Gervonta Davis these days. He's, he's calling him out, calling him names, saying that he wants to fight him and all that. Who knows if that will happen? But it looks like right now, it looks like Gary Russell's priorities is his mandatory challenger, Ray Vargas. Gary Russell Jr., we all know who he is. Been in there against the likes of um, uh, Kiko Martinez, Jojo Diaz, uh, Johnny Gonzalez, um, Lomachenko. One and only loss was against Lomachenko, if you're wondering, in his 31, 32 pro fights. 31 and 1, 18 wins coming by way of knockout or TKO. Fought last year, February, against Niam Bayar, which was a good win. That's a pretty good win. And now he has to fight this year in his yearly fights. If you guys don't know, Gary Russell only fights once a year. Freaking once a year, man. Fucking ridiculous if you ask me. Excuse my language. But, I mean, last year was kind of an excuse because of Corona. But still, he's been fighting once a year since 2015. <laughs> For the past five years, he's been fighting once a freaking year, man. For somebody as talented as Gary Russell, it's, it's a kind of a waste of talent, in my opinion. But anyway, it is what it is. Here he is. Possibly fighting Ray Vargas next if they negotiate this fight, which I think they can. I mean, I think they, they should negotiate this fight. Ray Vargas, currently undefeated, 30 years old from Mexico, 34 and 0, 22 wins come by way of Nakar TKO. Coming off a very good win against Tomoki Kamera back in July 2019. Hasn't fought since then, hasn't fought at all last year, so it's been a while since Ray Vargas fought. So it would be nice to see him inside the ring as soon as possible. So, hopefully, hopefully. We see this fight soon. I think it's a good fight. I honestly can't think of anything bad to say about it. Gary Russell needs a fight. Why not? Ray Vargas needs a fight. Why not? You know, let's see it. Champion versus champion. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you like this fight? Hate it? Dislike it? Let me know. And let me know why. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please and like always, have a great day. Alright, thanks.